The number of people have been displaced, especially when we went to the hospital. We saw that the medical personnel have all been evacuated from their processes and they are seeking shelter in a pavilion uh, in the hospital. So they actually need support, they need help. Our understanding is that the water is not going to rise any further. Uh, from what we hear from the VRA engineer, he said they read the peak of the spillage. So it means that it won't get worse. But it will take time to get better because it will take time for the water to recede and the place to become dry again. We've had unusually heavy rainfall in the northern part of the country. I was in the north last week and I noticed that the white water had reached its uh, uh, upper limit. And so all that water is coming down to Akusumbo. And so the people really need assistance. Unfortunately, my understanding is that not more has nothing. Happily, we've heard that DRA said they are going to support with some relief. And so I thank DRA and appeal to them that the people are in need. And so whatever relief they want to give, they should expedite that relief so that they can assist people to be able to cope with the current situation. But I think that this message will let the, the, the government and the whole of Ghana see what exactly is, is happening here. It's not just a story that is being told by people. It is the reality of people's lives following the spillage of the Akosombo Dam. The main problem is uh, from above the dam. Uh -huh. It's receiving more inflows than it should normally receive. And when that happens, you have to protect the dam because if you don't spill, then it's possible that the dam can give way. And if it gives way, it will be more catastrophic all the way down the uh, southern Volta. And so this is not the first time Akosombo, a uh, VRA is spilling at Akosombo. Uh, but this seems to be a bit heavier than normal. And so I do think it's fine. But it's also good to dredge because if you dredge, the extra volumes of water are able to move faster. For instance, you can see under the bridge, several parts are silted. If all that part had been cleared, it would be easier for the water to flow through so that it doesn't back up into people's uh, houses. This happens once in a while. It doesn't happen every year. Um, it's just because of climate change. Because normally the rainfall in the north would have started subsiding. But unfortunately, even when I was in the north last week, it was raining very heavily. And so it's unusual weather. It's part of what is happening with the whole change of the climate. And so we just have to see how to adapt. Sometimes when you read it in the media, you think it's just a joke. But these are people's lives. I mean, imagine 300 dead bodies. All families call to come and evacuate their bodies, look for other mortuaries to take the bodies to. I mean, that's real. Imagine um, the Combodian Hospital, which serves the whole of that area, shutting down. They've evacuated the patients. It's left with only 10 patients. You know, and if it doesn't get better by tomorrow, next tomorrow, they might have to discharge those patients too. Some of them are in critical care. How are you going to move them? So what is happening is real. And I expect that, you know, government should take it a bit more seriously.